Hey everyone, so excited to be with you on day two of our 21 days to get in the Word. And so what we want you to do in this is we just kind of walk along with you. Pastor Jody was on yesterday. Um, I'm on today. Jonathan's going to be on. And there's going to be times where maybe we do this together. But, but more than anything, we're not trying to create more dependence on us. Um, that you, you have to have us trying to open it up, but we just wanted to take simple steps so that you can see. I'm just going to share with what Jesus, I felt like, spoke to me about this morning with the Word. Um, and, and, and so it's not so much that you create more dependence on us, but actually you just see how simple it is and how available and awesome it is for you to just get in the Word with yourself and let God speak. Man, I love it. So um, there were two things. If you read this morning, and if you haven't read, take some time to read Matthew 5, 13 through 16. That's today's reading. But there were two phrases for me that stuck out. All right. And one was the phrase when Jesus said, for the people in the house. And I understand that's just kind of finishing off his illustration that, of course, you wouldn't like turn on a light and then like cover it up so that everybody stays in the dark. But one of the things that that phrase to me stuck out and it was just like people in the house, who are the people that are that are close to me? Who are the ones that that regularly are seeing me that are that are living life with me? The people that I work with, the, the my neighbors, my, my family, uh, friends, whatever, small group. Um, who are those people? And am I making sure that the light of Jesus in me is shining before them? And then the second thing was just that last phrase that Jesus closed with, so that they may see your works and glorify your God in heaven. And so it made me think, am I just a, a good reflection point? Am I living my life in such a way? Am I loving others in such a way? Am I encouraging others? Even when I might need to come and um, uh uh, someone that is close and I might have to challenge them and say, hey, look, I'm seeing this in your life. Am I doing all those, when I lead worship through song or when I'm preaching, am I doing all those things in a way that yes, it's okay for them to go, wow, God's given you some talent in that or God's, God's blessed you with some things there. That's okay. But is the end result still, yeah, and isn't it amazing that Jesus does that for us? Yes, isn't it amazing that Jesus um, is, is so close and so near and God loves us like that and God uses us like that? In the end, are the things that I'm doing, the way that I'm loving others, the, the, the life that I'm living that is following the way of Jesus, does it point to the people uh, or point people to Jesus or does it somehow just stop on me? Those are two little reflection points that I'm going to spend time just praying through and for today as I go, um, as I just kind of go through my day. I'll be thinking about that. Who are those people in my house? Man, let's pray for them. Um, just whatever names come to your mind right now. Maybe write them down. Um, if you're driving, just remember them. Don't write it right now. Uh, but just, uh, just think about them. Spend some time praying for them. And then take some time to just examine your life. And does it point people to Jesus or does it put more of the spotlight on you? All right. Love you guys. Can't wait to be with you again each day as we do this 21-day journey.